Hi, this is Jason, and welcome to Famous People That Are Cool. In today's Famous People are Cool, I'll be trying something different. They are famous, but not in the way you would think they're famous. They are twins, they're both autistic, and they're both savants. I'm talking about Flo and Kay Lyman. The twins were born in New Jersey to, to their mom and dad, and they got an older brother and a younger sister. As what they were like, uh, grew up to be in that New Jersey area, especially during the 50s and 60s, they didn't have the best upbringing due to their autism. Before, before that, before they were diagnosed with autism, they were diagnosed as mentally retarded, and they're both part blind. So they found out, like, um, through another diagnosis, they have autism. Not only that, but they have savant-like abilities, like they would know d dates. They would know, like, uh, they remember everything. Like, they remember, like, uh, what person was wearing, like, on TV, like, say, Dick Clark, their idol. What they were wearing on TV, what date was 9-11, uh, what date was uh, the San Francisco earthquake, any historic dates you can come up with. And they also know what show was on the air originally. And, like I said, they had a really tough upbringing, especially during the 60s, where being autistic meant, like, uh, you were just ignored, you were just ostracized by society, pretty much. And if you do go out, you get picked on by a bunch of bullies. Which wasn't fair at the time, but that's how it was during the 70s, 60s and 70s. But once, like, uh... Their, their mother, like, uh, passed away. They become more socially active. Thanks to, like, uh, their sister. And their sister is basically, like, uh, the mom, like, they always wanted. But then, like, uh, in 1990s, I think it was, like, mid-90s, she passed away, and they're left without, like, uh, a sister. No, it wasn't the mid-90s, it was uh, the mid-2000s. And then, like, uh, they were adopted by their older brother. And they decided it didn't go very well. And I think what they did now is, like, they have their own, like, a community. Like, uh, in New Jersey still. Being liked by, like, uh, by their abilities. And from, like, uh, what they are with what they can do. It's just like, just like me with, like, uh, Linda Cardellini, like, I always want to meet her in person to see what she's like in real life. They got a, they got a chance to meet their idol, uh, Dick Clark. And Dick Clark really liked, t took a liking to them. Uh, with their abilities and stuff. They, he even asked them, like, what, um, date the, the pyramid came out. And they say March, March of 73. Forget, like, the, the day of it, but I know it's March of 73. So they got all the dates and stuff, and all like all the things like even I wish I kind of have. Well, and I'm and I'm the I'm the guy with autism. I, I'm the guy with like photographic memory and memories of certain things and knowing what little nuances like uh, look like that nobody most people can see. So anyway, I want to wish these girls the best of luck. Hopefully I might get to meet them too, like in person, because they're one of my heroes. Thank you for uh, giving us the eye for autism and pop culture. Late.